Sailing into Amsterdam, into the harbour. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Also slightly stressful. Slightly scary. But it's okay. Yeah. Oh, disaster of disasters. Uh, you have to go with the flow. Don't you? of my own worst daydreams on my way to their hand then still I keep on moving on the path of no return keep on winning as I'm losing watching my bridges burn 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 I'm swimming up this lonely mountain Playing pool and bridge and drives This guitar is my sole companion Keep on what? playing it for lives Oh my word, it's horrible I think we're up, yeah we're up host So a big day today as we are sailing it's about 18 miles so a short one into Amsterdam which is very very exciting uh, we're ghosting downwind it's very very light airs well, we're doing two and a half knots but I say we haven't got that far to go so it's easy in that respect um, if we need to at the end we can speed up a bit get the old motor on but we'll happily drift down for now and Amsterdam, it's going to be cool. Well, I certainly hope so. I think it's going to be cool. Looking forward to it. Good sailing now, Jose. Hey, it is, yeah. Yeah, we're doing about four knots. Yeah. Working hard. Yeah, a little bit of white on the water. Yeah. Lovely, loads of boats out. Yeah. It's really very nice, isn't it? it is. TP on the job. <laughs> Working hard as ever. Amsterdam up there somewhere. Sailing into Amsterdam, into the harbour. is the lock in terms of dam have a look <laughs> that's a bit different <laughs> holy mackerel it's mega stressful so we're on the ferry and it's free I'm stunned. It goes every six minutes across to the downtown side. As I say, costs nothing. What a service. It's a 
lovely little marina in there, Six Haven. That's beautiful. Look at this, look at all of these boats. So we're on a bit of a recce mission. We're walked up to where we've got to turn off and go into the Stenmars route canals in Amsterdam um, and found the place. It's a big old ship coming in there, big barge coming in, ferry coming in behind him. There's a ferry port there. Looks like there's places to tie up though, over the far side. So it should be good, I think. This is where we're coming in, in here. So we found this in Groningen as well. We had a look on foot the day before and it was really, really helpful. Gives you a clear idea of where you're going, which is a good thing. Yeah, and that'll be our second bridge up there. Uh, it was about half past nine in the morning, so not an early start, but uh, we're just getting ready to leave Amsterdam, leave the marina here. We've spent two whole days here. We are three nights, two whole days. Had a look at the city. Yeah, to be honest with you, I prefer Groningen, but there, but there we go. Each to their own. Um, yeah, we're going to leave. And uh, yesterday we went out and did a sort of reconnaissance mission on foot, looking at the canals. And then uh, it was very, very close to bedtime last night and Hazel was looking at the at the chart and she noticed very wisely and cleverly that the train bridge, which is the second bridge in, only opens during the night time. And then for, you know, certain times, it, it gives very, you know, it's open for like seven, eight minutes at a time, at certain times during the night. Clearly, they have to time it to the train time, so, you know, that's understandable. So that was a problem. She got us thinking, and uh, then she found a phone number she could phone up and ask. And phoned up and discovered more problems. There's another bridge that's not working at all that way. So, luckily, here from Amsterdam, there are two options. There's the short way that we were looking at through the city, which would have been quite interesting. And there's a slightly, well, a longer way, but it's not too terribly longer. That takes you up this big canal that goes through Amsterdam, uh, which turns into the North Sea Canal, goes straight out into, out into the North Sea. And then we've got a turn off, off of that, about eight miles up there, into Harlem. The Harlem of the Netherlands, of course. So uh, that's the way we're going. That way's open. We've still got one bridge that only has a certain opening hours. Um, it opens, I think, at quarter past two in the afternoon. So we're hoping to be there before then. There's a waiting dock. We can get there, tie up and wait if all goes smoothly. We hope so. So that's the new plan. So all of that reconnaissance turned out to be a waste of time. Well, it wasn't a waste of time because we saw the city. But um, yeah, okay. we're now going a different way. And uh, it's a good job Hazel looked into it, hasn't it? Amsterdam! Looks 
Everything in our house. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Also slightly stressful. Slightly scary. But it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've crossed both ferry tracks and that's going yeah. well. So. Yeah, that's true. And we can stay outside of the shipping channel. Exactly. The boys are pretty far in the middle. Exactly. We've got plenty of room to go up inside of the red, big red ones, haven't we? Yeah, which is good. It is indeed. sat in the lock here and uh, we have to pay it's the first lock we've had to pay in so we didn't know um, then I did read a sign there in Dutch it says uh, Sluis Gilt Betalen in Sluis Kantor or something like that at least which means pay for the lock in the uh, office <laughs> and those was just had to run around to pay so very different and uh, a new one Oh, disaster of disasters. Uh, you have to go with the flow, don't you? So this morning we've got up, we're in the town centre of Harlem because last night there was some issues with the bridges. They shut for rush hour and then there's another bridge just beyond that that shut, also tricky hours. So in the end we decided to stop in the town centre of Harlem. And we were about to set off shortly after nine this morning where our neighbour told us that there's a bridge in the south of Harlem that's only opens at five o'clock this afternoon so we called up the harbour master and indeed that is true uh, so we're now hanging out relaxing waiting till we'll set off just after three and then on a bit there's a railway bridge that has very specific opening hours and hopefully we can get through this bridge that opens at five and then on to the tricky railway bridge that should be open at two minutes past nine and get through that and find a mooring after that so we should still have a decent day you should get six hours or so in today a bit of progress but uh it's going to start much much later than we thought so there's hazel dishing up leftover pasta breakfast oh, yeah Ta -da. Ta -da. Oh. pretty good <laughs> maybe i can grind some amazon on that or something you could do that but i put it away this morning oh well well you I can still do it <laughs> yeah yeah so relaxing well it's a bit of a drizzly one um and a late one we set off from harlem uh, just after three o'clock in the afternoon because of the situation with the bridges we were told that one bridge didn't open till five in practice we got through it a bit before five so it turned out to be not true but anyhow uh, and then there was a train bridge that only opens for a couple of minutes every couple of hours but we're through that it's all gone really well and we're going into the evening this tonight so uh, hazel's down in the galley cooking And uh, it's about seven o'clock now or so, a bit after I think. Um, and uh, yeah, I say going on into the evening, trying to get some miles down. And it's very nice, drizzly as I say, and grey, but uh, very nice. So a new bridge design and uh, it's got a digital readout of the height so they've just asked us how high we are it's at 12 meters and uh, at the moment it's 4.3 yeah they're just putting the barriers down just about to start opening for us i'm going to pass the camera to hazel and ask her to film it all right so that platform is just going to go up uh, which is kind of cool uh, yeah. yeah wow Yeah, I guess so. It would have been dead cool, wouldn't it? It would have been pretty cool. 
And you know, like when you can go through, yeah. like, oh yeah, it's five meters now. I'll fit through that. Probably gonna give us the green when it's high enough for both of us. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the next bridge is open as well. Oh wow. Oh, they do operate together, so. So we're heading towards Gouda today, Gouda, Gouda, wherever you pronounce that. Um, and uh, Hazel and I were originally planning to stop there and explore the whatever cheese facilities, but um, a couple of factors have come into play. One is that there's brilliant cheese in every, day, every Dutch uh, supermarket, so we're not short of good quality cheese. And the second one is we want to make some miles really, so I think most likely we're going to pass straight through and keep going a bit further. There's two, there are two railway bridges that only open at certain times um, that may play a role in our decision of how far we go. Hopefully we get through those smoothly and uh, just get some miles in today. We should get, well if it goes well, we should get quite well south today. We live in hope. There she is. The lock at Gelda going up. It's very busy, that's what I say. It's, it looks like it's very busy. The plot has got a lot of AIS, AIS heats on it. So another day it's coming up to what's about half past ten, isn't it, Hazel? Roughly. Yeah. And uh, we're on. Well, now we're in tidal water, uh, and we've still got a little bit of current against us, probably about half a knot. We've timed it to go out just before the turn of the tide. And the other consideration is that that bridge up there. I hope you see. Back to me only opens on the hour so we're timed fairly good i hope should work out to be there for 11 o'clock when it's supposed to open which should be very good um progress is good we're slow as i say we've got a yeah probably 0.7 of a knot of current against us i'd say um, but we're moving on and our timing for the bridge is looking good there's hazel so, so what's happening? Yeah, yeah, say something, all right. <laughs> yeah, nowhere to tie up. We've got 10 minutes to wait. It's mega busy, but uh, it's going okay. <laughs> We're bobbing around. Uh, trying to go nowhere for 10 minutes and uh, enjoying the weight of all these boats that's going past. It's quite something. Yeah. Great experience. We, the, the middle span of the bridge is probably tall enough for us to get under. It's, we'll be tight. So we've decided just to do the sensible thing and, and wait for the opening. We've spoken to the lady in the control tower, told her what we're thinking, and she's happy with that. So we're just waiting around for 10 minutes. British flags. This is a 
complete testament to the power of tugs. He is pushing six barges. One, two, three. And then there's the tug behind him. And they seem pretty well weighed down as well. That is incredible. So there's two strapped together and then three rows of them. Incredible. That is incredible. We do see some cool stuff. Don't yeah, we? we do. Well, we're making good speed now. Tides turns with us. Best part of six knots. Um, shipping's got a bit less, although there's still got some big barges coming past. Uh, we're going due south, which is always good. Heading south. It's very industrial. Though. What we've noticed is that the north part of the Standard route is beautiful countryside, absolutely glorious. Uh, and the southern part, certainly down here, is very industrial. So it's not as, not as attractive in that respect, but uh, it's got its own interest values. Certainly in terms of avoiding the shipping. And uh, the bridges in the north part all opened very, you know, smoothly and whenever we turned up. And in the southern part, it's more that uh, bridges, more bridges with fixed opening times and uh, not quite a smooth running in that respect. But it's, I guess it's because the south of the Netherlands is, is more inhabited. It's got a, a more population, so busier generally. I was just saying it got less busy, but clearly that was rubbish. And there we have it, bittersweet as they like to say. Um, we finished the Stanmast route. We're out, off the book. We've got this brilliant publication. This one here. That has led us all the way through the Stanmast route. And now we're off for the last page and out of it. What a fantastic experience. Thoroughly recommend it. And there we are. That is basically it for this week. Um, I have to say that we really loved our trip through the Standemast route of the uh, Netherlands, all the way in from the, the north on the uh, River Ems at Delft Seal, uh, down around you know, the lovely rural north across the Eiselmeer and, and the Markermeer to Amsterdam and then the southern section from Amsterdam, Haarlem and down out this uh, sort of, the, it's basically the Rhine estuary down the bottom where, where these fingers are down the bottom of, of um, the Netherlands. Delightful, quite different, the north section much more pastoral, rural, southern section busier, more intense in a way, but all of it beautiful. and. If you fancy a trip through there, I thoroughly recommend it. It's, it's well set up, well organised, lots of free moorings. Very nice indeed. Lots of culture to be seen, enjoyed. That's it for this week, as I said. Thank you for watching. As ever, massive thank you to the lovely people who support us on Patreon via PayPal. See you next time. We'll be moving on. Bye.